hi everyone welcome back to my channel so as you can tell i've started to film videos a lot more often i think i'm going to start doing them on a monday wednesday and friday and i'm going to alternate between musical theater and makeup look you're going to get the look of in my next video this video is just going to be going up first in this video currently on my instagram i am doing the 30 days of broadway song challenge Obviously while we're in quarantine it's quite nice to listen to songs that make you feel certain things and I've wrote down every single one of the songs that I'm going to be doing. I'm currently, I did day 10 today um, and I just thought I'd tell you what these songs are. So this is the 30 Broadway song challenge. If you want to see what my songs are then just keep watching guys. So number one was a song I love to belt in the shower and that is Raise You Up Just Be from Kinky Boots. I love Kinky Boots, there's nothing more I need to say about this song. It's just phenomenal and yeah, there's not really much more I need to say about that song. It's really uplifting, really, really happy. It, it's, a, it's a great song, such a great song. Two was a song that had the color, a color in the title and I went for The Song of Purple Summer from Spring Awakening. I don't really know much about this song, but as soon as I heard with the colour in the title, this is just the song that popped into my head and I am a little bit obsessed with Jonathan Groff at the moment, so it was gonna happen. Three, I'm a Disney musical. This isn't currently on Broadway, and it's actually, I think it's been made into a Broadway show, but not just yet. This is Hercules and it is Go The Distance. Hercules is my favourite Disney film disney like musical film i absolutely love it and yeah what, what can i say before was a tony winning show you love i went for electricity from billy elliott the musical which was my favorite musical for about six years until i saw kinky boots and then kinky boots took over that um but i still love billy elliott i still think it's such a lovely lovely show and the film's brilliant as well with Jamie Bell and if you haven't seen that go and watch it it's so good and again very uplifting song very nice song number five was a song that boosted your confidence and I went for I believe from the Book of Mormon because I often don't believe in myself and what I can do so I went for a song that literally tells you that you can do anything believe in yourself and also it's just, a, it's just a funny song. Number six is a song I have auditioned with and that is still hurting from the last five years. Mainly because normally when I'm given a song or I'm told I have to audition, I'm given a song to audition with. Um, or I'm given a specific list of songs that I have to like learn for an audition. This is the only song I've actually been able to choose because it sort of suits my vocal range, if that's the word very well number seven was uh, a song i like to sing at karaoke or i do love to sing karaoke but i don't really sing karaoke so i went for a look at me i'm sandra d from greece because me and my friend emily quite a while ago now i think it was nearly four years i think it's coming up four years now um we sang this at an open mic night and it was very very fun and every time i'm asked to do karaoke this would be the song i would do Number eight is a song that reminds you of summer and I went for What Time Is It from High School Musical 2. Not a Broadway thing, I know, but I don't care. Every time I hear that song, summer. Summer in a song. It's so good. Number nine was a song with a number in the title and I went for One Night from Wonderland. Could not think of anything else. My brain went blank. It is a good song though, and Wonderland is a good show. Number 10, which is what I did today, is a song that makes you cry and that is Who Lives, Who Dies, Who Tells Your Story from Hamilton. Without a shadow of a doubt, this song makes me cry every single time. Even when I did it at a, um, I did it at a variety show once and uh, I was James Madison in it. I still got really teary eyed when we sang it. It's just such a beautiful song and it's such a brilliant way to end a show. Number 11 is a song that is an 11 o'clock number. Not gonna lie, I did not understand this when I first read it. Um, but what it means is it's the sort of penultimate song where a character is 
has like an epiphany, has a moment of realization, and it's sort of like a big, strong song. So I went for Hold Me In Your Heart from Kinky Boots, another song that makes me cry every day. Um, I was between that and Soul of a Man, but Hold Me In Your Heart is actually the second off last song, it is the penultimate song. So I went for that one instead, um, because it is the song that Lola sees her dad again, and it is beautiful and heartbreaking all at the same time. Next, number 12 is a song from the year I was born. The musical Mamma Mia came out the year I was born in 1999. So I went for Dancing Queen from Mamma Mia. The song's not actually from my year, but the musical is, so I'm gonna cheat the system. Number 13 is a song from a show that closed too soon and I went for Journey to the Past from Anastasia. Anastasia. I'm gonna say Anastasia. Um, because they showed it close far too soon and this song is gorgeous, so gorgeous. The show just deserved a much longer lifespan on Broadway than what it got. Number 14 is a song with a person's name in the title. I went for Maria from West Side Story because I'm not original and I'm very looking, I'm very excited for the Steven Spielberg film of it. I think it's going to be really good. 15 is a song that I've performed in front of the audience. I've performed quite a lot of songs in front of audiences now, but a song that really, or a role that really defined me and had a very positive impact on me was when I played Bloody Mary in South Pacific. So I went for Bally High, which was the first song I sang in South Pacific, and that has just got a very, very special place in my heart. 16 is a song I'd like played at my wedding, and I went for Can You Feel the Love Tonight from Lion King mainly because Alton John wrote it and I'm a little bit obsessed with Alton John at the moment I'm going to see him in November hopefully if all of this is over I'm going to see him in November and I cannot wait for that I think it's going to be absolutely epic 17 I went is a song with a dance break I went for the speed test from Thoroughly Mob and Millie I have done Thoroughly Mob and Millie as a show I did it in 2016 and I just remember that song having such a good dance break in it and we were going to do tap in it but we ran out of time to learn the tap so we never did it. For number 18 it is a song about falling in love and I went for I'll Cover You from Rent. This could also be I'll Cover You Reprise from Rent. Both of them beautiful songs. Second one heartbreaking song but every time I think of love in a musical I think of this song and it also reminds me of my friend Chris because we listen to it all the time we listen to so much rent it's ridiculous 19 is a song sang by two or more people and i went for i know him so well from chess um my grandma likes chess so that's sort of why i chose it but also i have sung this in front of an audience in the past i'm not going to talk about it because i don't care i'm with the person i sang it with anymore um but yeah what can i say Number 20 is a song from my childhood or a song that reminds me of my childhood. Any song from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang or Mary Poppins was going to do here. Because I remember sitting down and watching them a lot with my grandma. But I went for Toot Sweets from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. I don't know why, it just reminds me of my childhood. It's a really beautiful song. I was going to do either that or Step in Time from Mary Poppins because I had a dance to that, like a full on dance routine to that when I was little. So either of them was going to be good. Number 21 is a song from an artist I love. I went for Santa Fe from Newsies which is sung by Jeremy Jordan because he has the most gorgeous voice. It is irritating how talented he is. And I think he's a little bit like underrated as well. I don't hear that many people talking about him but I think he's absolutely brilliant. So so talented. Uh, 22 a song about a broken heart. I went for I'm not that girl from Wicked. I don't like Wicked as a show, but this song perfectly encapsulates what it is like to not be what someone wants you to be. And it is about, you know, a broken heart. So I went for that one. Three is a song from a show that has never been on Broadway. I went for Seventeen from Heathers, which isn't actually my favourite song from Heathers at the moment. My favourite one is um, Meant To Be Yours, which is JD's song. But 17, every time I think of Heathers, that is the first song that pops into my head, that and Candy Sauce, so I went for 17. 24 is a song that I play on road trips, that would be You'll Be Back from Hamilton, because me and Adam went to go and sit, my boyfriend, I don't know, my boyfriend's called Adam, um, 
we went to go and see Hamilton in London for my 21st, my 20, yeah, no, my 21st birthday. I forgot how old I was there. For my 21st birthday, and it's the only song that he really likes from it. So he does like the show. I can confirm he does really like the show, but he loves this song mainly because it's Jonathan Groff. We're both like a little bit of, we're both absolutely adore Jonathan Groff. He's so brilliant. 25 is a song that relaxes you. I went for Edelweiss from The Sound of Music. It's just such a lovely song and a common song. So that's why I went for it. 26 is a, a Broadway revival song. I went for Bring Him Home from Les Mis because it was revived in 2006. So technically it is a Broadway revival. I couldn't, I'm not from, America, so I wouldn't know what's on Broadway. I know what's on the West End. 27 is a song from a jukebox musical. I went for a crazy little thing called Love from We Will Rock You because I love Queen and that song is so good and it's so good in the show as well. 28 is a song that is set in New York City. I went for Carrie and the Banner from Newsies. I tried not to use the same show twice, but I can't help it. Um, yeah, I think that is so, so, so good. Brilliant song. The 29 is a song from my dream role. Now, I have two dream roles. One, I can never play because it's a guy. The second one, people know I would love to play her. So for the male one, I went for Man Up from the Book of Mormon, which is obviously Elder Cunningham. I was going to say Elder Price. Elder Cunningham. I'd love to play Elder Cunningham. I think he's such a good character, but I'm a female. I can't do it. And then my female um, role or song that I went for is History of Wrong Guys from Kinky Boots. I would love to play Lauren. I think she's such a funny character and very relatable as well, which I find a lot of musical theatre characters aren't, but she is, so that's great. Finally, number 30 is a song that reminds me why I love Broadway, why I love musicals. That has to be We're In The Money from 42nd Street because when I went to go and see 42nd Street, the first time, it was my first ever West End show, I cried from start to finish. And this song just made me well up. And it was like, this is why. This is like a proper, proper musical. This is why I love it. So, yeah. So there we go, guys. That is my 30 Broadway song challenge list. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you'd like me to do next. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.